I want to get with ya and take your picture. This is the money <laughs> video right here. <laughs> you answered the door in the whole thing. So what else you got for me, hot mama? Um, Goodwill, yard sales. Then I have to show you my dope swimming pool. I feel like more cool people should stay in Mississippi. Is that the Humpty Hump? Sounds like it. Maybe the raccoons are gonna dig it and not leave. But first, a shout out to our sponsors. Doris Electric Services, lighting up the Gulf Coast since 2004. H.L. Raymond Properties, the Gulf Coast's hottest real estate company. You might have seen them on HGTV, and I can proudly say they sold my home. SNL Office Supplies, specializing in print and promotional products. They can put your logo on just about anything. Maxim Health Urgent Care, with locations across the South, including Flowood, Hattiesburg, Orange Grove, and Ocean Springs, there's bound to be one near you. Guess what? We are now having a giveaway at the end of every single webisode of Miss Congeniality. So make sure to watch all the way to the end to find out what and how. Hello and welcome to Miss Congeniality. I'm your host, Jamie Doris, and today's special guest is a lady who just won't quit. I met her first in middle school when she was the new kid from California. Today, she's the owner of EJR Photography, the mother of three, and a proud Mississippian who still has that West Coast edge. Oh, and she has seen me naked. Introducing the one, the only, Heather Rafferty. Oh, it, it opened. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> hey. Special effect. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. Ooh, thank you for having me. You have a bunny cage on we, your front porch. Yes, Photographer Life. I did bunny minis for Easter and borrowed that. And you borrowed the bunnies too. And I did. And I gave the bunny back, but I haven't returned the cage yet. <laughs> you know, the procrastinator artist. You're beautiful. Can I come Thanks. in? Absolutely, come in. <laughs> cool. You got this some some funk going on. Yeah, you know, I like to keep it real. Everything was either given to me or found on the side of the road. So it's like the opposite of MTV Cribs, really. This is the... <laughs> yeah, because they're like living the plush life. Well, this I was going like to ask you. Life. I was going to ask you who your decorator is. <laughs> Goodwill, yard sales, my grandmother. You, you can know. do a rap. Goodwill, yard sales, my grandmother. Yeah, I mean, it's Goodwill. true, though. If people have stuff they don't want, they usually call me. So does this work? Yes. I usually have a stereo in here. However, we had to move it because we had raccoons who have taken over our roof. Really? <laughs> <laughs> We've what? what? Yes. Oh no, no, you have raccoons in your house? Well, they're on the roof. However, there was like a hole, so they ended up in our wall of our bedroom. Really well, freaky. That you probably freaks your kids out. Well, Ian. <laughs> My fiance could not sleep in our room because he could hear it, but we didn't know where it was coming from. Yeah. So we rescued it yesterday and put it back up on the roof for the mom. And Wild at Heart told us to play music so that they'll leave because they're nocturnal. So if you play music during the day, they'll get agitated and leave. We, we could just sing. We could just <laughs> sing the raccoon back home. Yeah. So that's what we've been doing. We've been dealing with that. Oh, look at you. That's you. <laughs> that's me. Oh, is that you in uh, California? Uh-huh. I was a private school dropout. <laughs> yeah. That's the only time private I went. Private school dropout. <laughs> oh, no. Um, private what? school dropout. Ian's a private school dropout, too. We, we were meant for each other. Ian so. is your fiance? That yeah. looks nothing like him. That's him. There's a big, big age difference between the two of us. 11 <clears throat> years age difference. So... Cougar. <laughs> I know. He's 11 years younger than you 11 are? 11 years, yeah. Girl! I know. That's why he was scared of the raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> he thought the raccoon <laughs> was going to eat him. I know. It works, though. You had to be that young to keep up with me, to be honest. Really? Yeah. You're that. Yeah. When you asked me um, about being on the show, I was like, I'm going to have to, you know, keep my special talents to myself <laughs> when you ask me. Because truly, my talent is that I bagged this hot 25-year-old guy. I, that is my biggest accomplishment. I'm really proud of myself for that. This is the money <laughs> video right here. How did this happen? She just like, boom, the sound bite. I mean. That is awesome. Well, girl, you're like hot. Let's, let's come out here and I show how be. hot. You do have to be hot. To have a young, yeah. You're hot. Like, <laughs> oh my god, Becky. 
Look at that butt. Now that's our arrow, right? It's just so big. <laughs> it's just so round and out there. Come on, you know the song. She looks like one of those rap, rap guys, guys girlfriends. girlfriends. I mean, girls. <laughs> it's just so black. I, I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Wanna pull it up tight? <laughs> Cause you notice that butt is is by the jeans she's wearing. I'm hooking again up there. And oh baby, I want to get with ya and take your picture. My oh. homeboy try to warn me. That butt you got making me so horny. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew I could break it out. Oh, absolutely. Boom. You're my if girl. If anyone can, you can. This is our kitchen. This is your kitchen. Yeah, this is where we do all the cooking. Um, it's vintage. More cameras. Um, that's some artwork. I don't know if you know Bobby Amonet. He does musicians when they play live. Have y'all shot? With Almost him? every single episode has had one of his an M&A <laughs> artwork in it. Awesome! So you do a lot of musicians? You shoot a lot of musicians? Sorry. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Apparently I do. That's cool. He's so a he's a local artist. artist? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's awesome. He's always um, doing live paintings at shows and then sells them after. And so he happened to be at one of Ian's shows. And uh, so we snagged it when we were done. Do you need me to turn that off? Is that the Humpty Hump? <laughs> Sounds like it. Maybe the raccoons are going to dig it and not leave. This is where the uh, magic happens. Yeah, <laughs> the Humpty Hump. <laughs> this girl is in Mississippi. Isn't this hilarious? Do you like being from Mississippi? Yes. I love being from Mississippi in Mississippi. I feel like more cool people should stay in Mississippi and not think that they have to leave, you know. <laughs> Dance party's over. <clears throat> Did you hear your intro? No. You didn't. Well, what I said was that you are the owner of EJR Photography, mother of three, yes. proud Mississippian, yes. <laughs> who has a cool West Coast edge, <laughs> and that you've seen me naked. Oh, yes! I have. This is true. I really have. What did we shoot? Oh, we shot a really sassy boudoir session, and I remember because you answered the door in the whole thing. And I think it was even a thong and stockings. And I'll have y'all know, I'll have y'all know, I may not seem it, but I am painfully modest. I am, and growing up, I had friends like you who would always be naked, or like, I'd come over, and they're in panties, and you know who you are if you're watching this show. <clears throat> and it was, just took me back that you answered the door like that, but you rocked it. <laughs> who, are you, who are you calling? I, I'm calling my old self. <laughs> Do not answer the door, because she's going to spill the beans in 2017. Hey, you were engaged not long after that. I was. Just saying. You have to keep he it hot, ladies. He put a ring on it. He put you got to keep it hot, ladies. You do. You really do. Um, I'm going over here. Yeah, you can. I can? <laughs> you cleaned up for me? No. Can, look at my floor. It was either mop or wash my hair. And I was like, I'm so washing my hair. I like hats. I do, too, clearly. Yeah. Oh, that one looks nice. really good on you. Let's just do this. She'll never notice if it's gone. <laughs> More um, art from a local artist guy, Leslie Ferrer. He lives in Ocean Springs and does different things like this. So, so you're into local art. Yeah, if I'm going to spend money on it, it's going to be, and it's not vintage or old, then um, it's going to be supporting, you know, a local artist, definitely. <laughs> you Do you play the clarinet? I don't, no. Um, they just look cool. So, <laughs> and Ian, he can play anything. Yeah. Like pretty much anything. I bought um, a squeeze box, a concertina, because I thought I was going to learn to play it. Uh, What's a squeeze box? You know, like the thing little monkeys play? Isn't that the... Um, it's not an accordion. It's accordion. smaller. So in my mind, I was like, toy monkeys Where play is it? it. Get the squeeze box. I can't play it. Well, maybe I can. <laughs> this is all you. This is all me. I know. It works. Wouldn't I look cool if I could play the damn thing? It was like a great idea. Here, we don't need this. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Can you play music? Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. My hat. Losing my hat here. I'll let you have that. 
dream and that didn't happen. Being on like, yo, MTV Raps wouldn't happen. That doesn't exist anymore. But MTV Cribs was also a great show and you're here in my house filming. So this is like MTV Cribs. So I have to show you three things. That is? I have to show you what's in my fridge. I have to show you where the magic happens, which we already did. So I won't show you that. But then I have to show you my dope swimming pool. So let's do the fridge and then we'll get outside to that pool. Okay. Follow us around. <laughs> Yo, this is my fridge. It's really mom-like. I do have, we call it LaCroix, La but it's really called LaCroix. LaCroix. Yeah, but we say LaCroix just because we like to be fancy like Target when we go to Target. You know, it's like the finer things that we actually partake in, which is like hipster elixir, they right, say. Good. Well, here you go. <laughs> okay, yes. All right, we're going to need this. LaCroix. Yeah. Okay, we need the LaCroix. To go out to your dope pool? Yeah, it's uh, kind of honeyless, and we need some honeys at the pool. Well, we're the honeys, so, so let's take it okay. out there, yo. Let's go. <laughs> Boom! Oh, man. Oh, wow. I know. I can't wait. I know. I, I, we've drained it right now just so we could clean it, you know? So there so, isn't any water in it at the moment. Um, but you could, we could totally still get in. Let's get in. Let's like, we're, we're the honeys. And we're gonna have to like, oh, whack something. We can something. just like, here, we, we can, can like, like lamp. yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, back to back. Yeah, definitely. Oh, back to back. Oh yeah, and what are we gonna wrap? I don't know, I'm trying to think of something this you would like, know that's clean. Mom you know? life. Yeah, well I was thinking maybe um, something like. Do you know like Lottie Dottie? Lottie Dottie, we, we likes the potty. potty. We, we don't cause trouble. trouble. We, we don't bother nobody. We just some. Never but on the mic, mic. <laughs> we rock up on the mic. We rock the mic right, right. for all my dogs keeping y'all in hell. Just to see you smiling, enjoying yourself, cause it's cool when they cause a cozy condition and which we create. Cause that's our mission, so listen close to what we say because this type's a happen every day. <laughs> you are such a mom too. I love it, the edit and all. You know, it, uh, it yeah, is what it is. I'm a mom. Yeah. So on that note, we will end the show. We both have to go make dinner. Yeah, I have a softball. <laughs> I have a softball game to get to. And my son doesn't have his track shirt. So <laughs> that's a wrap, folks. I hope you enjoyed meeting Heather Rafferty. I know I loved going back in time with her. It was wonderful. So if you like my dress, you can get it from my closet boutique in D'Iberville. And if you know anybody else I can interview, please drop me a line and let me know. And as always, love yourself, be yourself, and let's help keep Mississippi beautiful. Bye! Peace! 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 <laughs> what would you like to give to the winner of our contest when this show airs? A photo shoot. I would love to. A photo shoot? What kind of photo yeah. shoot? Um, well, I mean, it could be whatever. It depends on who, I guess, wins and what they would like to have <laughs> shot. Kind um, of a custom thing or yeah, like I mean, individuals like or a family or something? Um, Whatever I could do to showcase like who they are. I don't use Photoshop on my clients, FYI. You don't? I don't. You don't? Not any, not, what if somebody says, I want you to take okay. the wrinkles out? No, I won't do it. You didn't use Photoshop in my naked mm -hmm. pictures? No. Dang, <laughs> I look good. <laughs> Remember, your support of Miss Congeniality is helping the environment. Why? Because we're donating a portion of all proceeds to organizations that are keeping Mississippi beautiful. So keep watching, keep liking, and keep sharing.